Hi everybody, what's going on? It's me, the DB. I know I haven't been around much, but I've been getting myself organized. I've kind of used this time off the computer and off the internet to get myself together and find out what my priorities are in my life. But I can stop by online time to time and say hi. More importantly, I've sort of got an issue about what's something I want to buy. Now that the PlayStation 4 is coming around, there's all these different organized bundles being released in the form of launch types. They're, re they're surfacing for the date of November, mid-November, and they've got either a game with them, and it's been forever since I've actually bought a console that came with a video game, yeah, or an extra controller, which is pretty neat. It's pretty neat. I like that. And I've just been worried because I collect my games. I don't go to GameStop and frequently trade them in. That said, I do the same with consoles, but my problem grounds me up to how many games I can play, and here's why. With the PlayStation 3, I actually still have one of the older launch models that came with the Yellow Light of Death. I ran out of my warranty, I used it up, and... And now I no longer have the problem, because I had to take it to Sony directly to fix. Yeah, the, L the YLOD occurred after I made the best use out of my PlayStation 3 for over half a decade. My point being that the PlayStation 3 might end up obsolete soon, and the one I have is far from the, from the version I should be playing. I want to spend at least $200, because there are some white model consoles going around for that much, that are 500 gigabytes in storage hard drive. Now, Sony is selling new PS3 Super Slim consoles, uh, black colored, for, for the same price, but with only 12 gigabytes. Now, some people make the argument that the console is, uh, the console is good, like, for those who want to spend less, because you get a 12 gigabyte PS3, but you want to, uh, you can remove the hard drive, whether you purchase a 500 gigabyte or, or that much worth of a terabyte. Yeah, let, let's say either or. The issue I have at present is if I spend $200 on, like, on less about storage and more about the console, I might be spending more money than the, like, the actual... Uh, older PS3s, the older, slightly older Super Slims that carry 500 gigabytes. There are some going for Amazon and eBay at a price at around $200, with the box and every accessory included. Now, I don't have a PlayStation 2 anymore, and this is where it becomes more complicated. There are some that are re uh, refurbished, there are being sold for a third of that price. I mean, about $50. I want these consoles in order to archive them, to keep them in my home for as long as I live. I want them to be around for a very long time. Naturally, I'm a PC gamer. The only binding for myself toward the consoles are the exclusives. But I haven't always been a PC gamer. I started out with the PlayStation 1 in my early days. Now, I have a laptop, and soon I'll be purchasing a desktop, and this is where it gets even more complicated. I want the older systems to be able to play the older games, because I don't frequently rely on digital. I am a disc-based person. It's about what I own and what I want to play with, and the patience that I have to swap the data discs between consoles. I'm not in the mood for all digital all the time, immediately, and make it forthcoming. I'm not. When the PlayStation 4 launches, it's going to be out with a couple of games. The lineup's not looking too disappointing or, or too bright. And I'm not saying it to denigrate the effort that Sony is putting into. I'm addressing this as such because I'm hoping for games over time, like the Nintendo Wii U. The Nintendo Wii U is finally caught up and actually has good games that are announced, that are set to be released, in m multiple, well, we, I mean, months from now. 
they're selling the $300 deluxe bundle with Wind Waker. And I'm probably going to need a Wii U uh, by the time that Bayonetta 2 comes around. I'm probably going to have to skip Sonic Lost World, or if somebody I know gets the console, I might be able to play it. I do love Sonic games, and I really don't want to miss this one. It's looking exciting, and it's a step up from the Generations formula. I'm very happy for it. But more importantly, I grew up in the, in the 90s when the PlayStation 1 came out. So I have this nostalgic feeling about wanting to own all of my games and all the discs. My friends do collect some classics from the PS1 era, like Dino Crisis, or the Inuyasha game that was released at the time. Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3. Yeah, and that's the story. And then there's this PlayStation, Vita, and PS4 bundle coming together for a $500 price point, allegedly. They're going to be released by Sony sometime in the near future, but nothing's been confirmed as of yet. It's just some some talks. It's just some some inside discussion about what could be profitable to them. I don't even want a PS Vita per se. I would not buy one on its own merits. I would only pick it up if it came with the bundle. And I'm being- I'm acting responsibly with my money. I've actually saved some away now that I've got a job. Yeah, I've been working for the past couple of months, and I've been saving my cash in my account. And I've so many times resisted the urge to spend, spend, spend. I've actually been conservative, and I'm actually trying to keep my money safe for school or bills. Any purposes that involve my surviving. The reason I want to pick up a video game in the midst of all this is because I do need something to entertain me. Like, you should always do something as long as you can get by with what you love. You should do something for fun. I do- I am going to school. I'm not going to study too much. The video games to me are a sense of liberation. If I don't have anything there to keep me occupied and enjoy- <laughs> and while enjoying it, then I've got- then I'm doing something wrong. Because the worst thing you can do to yourself is, in your, is imprison your existence into a bunch of books. Sometimes a trip outside of reality is what we all need once in a while. And believe me, absolutely, I know what reality is with the current issues that are going on in our world. The NSA spying on American citizens and propagandizing. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say propagandizing, I'm sorry, I, I don't know if that's even a word. They're throwing propaganda at the Amer at the citizens who are in shock and awe and of mutual disgust of this program. The NSA is feigning worry, credible threats about terrorism. We're seeing more and more ordinary citizens being incarcerated and in jail, kept in confinement for many, many years, whereas star celebrities only last, only have to maintain a presence of 45 days in a jail. We're seeing Wall Street taking money from the taxpayers who work hard and are just trying to make a living. We're seeing rich people, such as members of Wall Street, undermine the community and working their way into corporate media and trying to influence media members into more discussion about off-handed topics, such as celebrities, and less about foreclosures and the, and the issues going on around civilians. I see less news in the media talking about what's our next voyage to what planet. I want to see things like possible UFO sightings, or, or again, uh, a rocket firing from, uh, from either a country or our planet and going to another, another place in the stars. I want to see the progression of humanity. Although I can't make that much of a difference right away, that's why I'm asking you guys this. I, I, there's a lot of PlayStation things that I do know are not worth it right now, and I just want to have some fun. I just want to live my life study, but also strike a balance. I guess 
it, you know, it would it would definitely be fair to ask for anyone's opinions because I know how to control my money and how to control my spending, but I just can't help myself sometimes. You know, should I get a new PS3? Uh, anyway, should I get a PS2 if I've already got a backwards compatible PlayStation 3 that could run the risk of a yellow light of death again? I would also like to note that I'm not turning to the internet for a certain advice. I just would like to know different feedback from different people. I'm not going to be using anything as a template, but more of an idea, something to keep my eye on. I don't have a pre-order for a PlayStation 4 yet, but I might pick it up along with that bundle. Maybe I could resell the Vita, unless Sony has a lot of interesting games by then. Also, be on the lookout, more videos coming your way, and yes, I have realized that I do carry a degree of an audience. I know that there are people that like my content, for whatever it's worth, and thank you very much again for watching.